It was pretty incredible, and the movie, let me tell you, it was mind-bogglingly vast and epic. Okay, okay. That's yeah. a good way to describe it. Yeah, it's, it's, I, think, I think a lot of people liked it because of the cinematic experience, the right. special effect, the costume design, right. and how the guy were just able to create a world. Right out of nothing, out of nowhere, and, right. um, and actually make you believe that this world exists. Right. And then right. you have all these different actors. The cast is, is, is pretty incredible. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to welcome Outside back. of 9 to 5. Outside of 9 to 5. Is it episode 6 or 2? Um, given how much uh, problem we've had, since the beginning of the okay. production. Okay. I would say this is episode two. All right. Proper All right. episode two. Proper with, episode two. With mics and yeah. all the gears. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Dude, cool. I watched Doom 2 last night. Amazing. Yeah, uh, Doom 2. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet, but you can spoil it. I don't mind. It's, uh, it's um, so I watched it in the second biggest, you know, the second. Right. Yeah, the Metreon mm -hmm. 16, mm -hmm. the one in Union Square, the IMAX screen is the second biggest in North America. Right, right. It's, I, I think, only the LA one. Uh, there's one in LA that's bigger. Okay. okay. And uh, the ticket is extremely hard to get. Uh, even sense. though it was yeah. 10 p.m., uh, the whole theater was packed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no seat open. So no one's working. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it, it, was, it was pretty incredible. And the movie, let me tell you, it was mind bogglingly vast and epic okay okay that's yeah. a good way to describe it yeah it's it's i think i think a lot of people liked it because of the cinematic experience the right. special effect the costume design right and how the guy were just able to create a world right out of nothing out of nowhere and right. um and actually make you believe that this world exists right and then right. you have all these different actors the cast is, is, is pretty incredible. Right? Okay. You have Timothy Chalamet, you have Zendaya, you have Austin Barler, you have um, uh, Florian Pugh. Yeah. Right? You have Your all voice these. is like Austin Butler. You both have a deep voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I played play Elvis yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in high school, yeah. too. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I played Elvis, and I haven't been able to change it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know that's the bit. That's the bit about Austin awesome Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. That scene. Yeah. yeah. Um, usually, I feel, I feel like, when you have this many people, right, uh, famous people, right, in the same movie, right. I think first of all, it takes you out of the movie. Yeah. Because you know you obviously instant instantaneously uh, recognize the cast, the right. actors, right, right. But in this one. It doesn't really feel that way. Why do you think that is? I think all the actors were really good. They're just good. Yeah, they're <laughs> okay. really good. And, and it really brings you in. It was one of the few productions, uh, work of you know, cinema, right. that um, the cast, I think, reinforces on top of each other. Uh, okay. So the combined right. of them much stronger than the individual right. elements of them. It's very complimentary. Yeah, so, all of them yeah. created this world that was so interesting. Right. I recommend it. I recommend it. If I, you and Christine have some time, this yeah. upcoming... I need Christine to watch the first one first. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, she hasn't watched it yet. But. Do you have uh, Max at home? HBO Max? I think it's not HBO I don't Max. Think, I think we have someone who has it. Okay. We can probably get a login for it. Okay. Yeah, we will uh, We'll give it a watch. I, I just need to convince her to watch it, but I think she thinks it's too dry. Okay. She's the type that, um, you know. Pretty coarse. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. I think there's a couple different types of movie watchers. Will we go first? Yeah. I would bucket her in the don't think about anything and just appreciate. Uh -huh. like, so, like, I, I think she won't like one. But she'll like because it's just a lot of it's heavy on the story. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like yeah, she yeah. doesn't think when she watches it. Okay, She's just yeah. like, oh wow, yeah. like flashy bright colors, yeah. cool scene. Big yeah. sand dune. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But, Worms. But yeah. if there's a lot of like verb and like yeah. they're like, oh, yeah. I need on that topic, I yeah. need to stop saying like, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I barely notice anymore. Yeah, it's not great. Um 
But um, yeah, she isn't Tim Ferriss so right? Yeah, uh, I think a big inspiration for both of us to start this was also we watched the Tim Ferriss episode. I think it was the one where he was with Noah Kagan, but mm, he mm, was saying mm. just do five. If everybody in the world did yeah. five podcasts and yeah. listened to it, that you would realize how many like verbal takes, like just yes. all kinds of. Yes. It's not, yeah, yes. now I try how, to... Right, ca- how, how you carry yourself in a right, conversation. Right, right, oh, especially in front of a camera. It's um, it's very different, but even then, yeah. the natural, um, like, it's yeah. crazy how yeah. often we mix yeah. in these filler words and... Yeah. Give ourselves 10 episodes. I think yeah. by episode 10. Yeah, we're a little slow, slow, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we need By episode 10, 10 yeah. we should be able to uh, get there. Yeah. But you were saying that he, she's very much... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So she's a type who would absolutely love, you know, like... Avengers and like of course, yeah, yeah, yeah is yeah, yeah. very sort of, is then this is definitely the movie for her okay so yeah. Dune 2 is but do, I don't think she can get through Dune 1 That's yeah Dune, I, Dune 1 is Dune 1 was very interesting right. um the, the the special effects of the CGI right. and um the in your face elements mm. were uh very mellow right if you if you want to say it's, it's it, it was it was very delicate because mm-hmm. the dude was trying to create a world mm-hmm. without throwing everything in your face. Right. But the second one, oh man, the second one, it was in your face. Okay. Because when you get to the second one, the storyline is uh, Paul Trades after the mm-hmm. entire family got murdered. Not entire, but the majority right. of the family right. father got murdered. Right. He had to um, escape to the desert, mm-hmm. the ending of the first movie, yep. and then blend into the local tribe. Right. right? And then learning how to live his life his way right riding a sandworm trying to figure out how to you know mm. uh, kill people battle scene and right. um you know traveling around and meeting people and all that has to be depicted right. in the second one right and right. those wouldn't be possible without right the that, that's what I, right yeah that's what i heard is basically dune one was the alley for yeah. dune two it, it yeah, basically yeah, yeah. set up the whole dune yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you yeah. kind of have to sit through that yeah first yeah. it was pretty incredible to see yeah. dune two even could get to that epic scale and now mm. it feels it, it it very much feels uh similar to what avenger did Oh, you know, okay. like the couple of Avenger Avengers leading up to Endgame. Mm-hmm. You watch, for example, you know, Avenger Civil War, mm-hmm. okay, okay, Captain America Civil War. Yeah, you have all these people jumping. Okay, the production value I think from Doom Two is still a little bit higher because the knee is just mm-hmm. a much better filmmaker. I see. Um, but when in Avengers. Civil War, everybody jumps out. There's Spider-Man here, there's <laughs> Iron Man here, there's whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watched it, you think, oh my God, this is a pretty epic battle already. Right. But then you know that there is going to be another one that's even bigger right, right. after this. So it, that's my impression after watching Doom 2 is, wow, Doom 2 is already pretty epic. Mm. What the fuck is he going to do uh, for Doom 3? I see. I see. Because I see. that is, they tee it up at the very end ending you, you know um the 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 two main characters you know they were saying so what is going on and then the other person said the holy war is happening oh crap okay ending, right <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that the holy is... war that's what's going to happen in Doom three right um that sounds yeah i want to watch it uh, i'm actually i'm a big fan of that yeah. style so yeah. i'm very much looking forward to it but it's pretty incredible man uh Denis and Christopher Nolan, these two, mm-hmm. uh, very much yeah, the, these two, Christopher yeah, Nolan. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Christopher Nolan. Um, these two very much just incredible filmmaker with their craft, you know, in today's day and age and see them putting out an amazing movie one after another. Well, cheers, well, man. Cheers. i also looking at the, uh, the production value and also the CGI. It makes you think, Wow, okay. Now I understand why Marvel um, didn't have enough staff to... <laughs> to right. it, it, it really feel, feels like all the CGI people are working on this. Because, yeah. you know, you remember the worm, right? The sandworm. Right. In this one, there were a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> so, there were a lot of sandworms. Okay. Right? You just uh, control paste, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Control C, control yeah, V. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. And then you need the 
make a pretty long clip of a person riding the sandworm. Where actually mm. there were several scenes of people riding sandworms. I see. And I, it's really hard to describe to you what that looks like. Right. But when Paul Atreides first learned how to ride a sandworm and then standing up on the sandworm and all the sands were mm. kind of blowing into his face and riding into the storm and one sand dune, you know, destroyed after another. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's very visually empowering it, mm. it, it was it was very cool um and you know obviously he they didn't do that right in real Probably life on like green screen or yeah in, in real <laughs> know, life but yeah. still it was it was pretty 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 mm. cool and i also would say i shared similar level of prejudice against timothy chalamet um mm. i couldn't take him seriously Okay. Because of <laughs> yeah, because of because of the you know yeah <laughs> because, of, <laughs> because of because of that yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, you know the the, the the SNL sketch and and, and yeah. all the historical and also he he just I feel, it almost feel like he came out of nowhere uh, to me a little bit what uh, what uh, Cat Williams is saying yeah Plant. <laughs> yeah well okay well that was a I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I wouldn't go that far but but mm. he 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 I do think he is extremely talented mm. um, as an actor and he's extremely young right and um, but in this one I felt that he established a certain level of presence mm. um, and it makes me want to believe that. This person is just Paul Atreides. Like it, he oh, is the character. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And and and, um, it's really hard to not like him. I see. Now after what after watching this movie. Oh. Yeah. You're really selling him on. <laughs> you're yeah, you're it's, selling it's, the movie on. Yeah. It's, me. It's, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great movie, man. It's okay. a great movie. And also the director, I recommend you following him. Okay. He's what he's one of the best ones to ever do it. I will give him a watch and then. Watch on you know, IMAX. I think it makes a huge difference. Okay, let me I'm watch on IMAX okay. and Metreon. I think it makes a huge difference. Yeah, so I need a yeah. for first friction point is convincing Christine to watch Dune One at home, <laughs> and then and then we will head over. Do you one. need to watch Dune? Yeah, you need to watch Dune. I heard you need yeah, like you yeah, just have to sit yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need yeah. To watch Dune one. Or yeah. if anything, maybe yeah. I'll just have her read through like a synopsis. And I feel like it's I, I would rewatch it before watching Dune. Yeah, it's, it's a lot yeah. of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. I, I liked it. Yeah, I I kind of hoped. Yeah. That I have watched it uh, before watching this one. Oh, I see. Yeah, get a little recall. Yeah, everything. do a little recalling. Um, mm. It's well done. It's well done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. How's the diet? Okay, I would still reinforce <laughs> my statement yesterday. That ground chicken makes a huge difference. Okay, you had it again. I had it again. Okay. I had it again. Um, and you didn't mind it. I didn't mind it at all. Amazing. There you yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had it again. Um, and last night I meal prepped a little bit more. I realized I could essentially make it into, if I wanted to, I can make it into nuggets. Mm. Like naked nuggets or, or batter it lightly? Like, uh, maybe batter it lightly, but it still okay. wouldn't be too unhealthy. Right. It could even be naked and still be delicious. Right, right. And so what I did was essentially a hmm. chicken bake. Uh, almost you, okay almost okay. So, so so you you dump all the chicken ground chicken out mm -hmm. you mix it with all the seasonings and you know whatever and then you just put it in the oven and let us do its thing huh. and then it comes out like a chicken meatloaf <laughs> yeah like a chicken meatloaf <laughs> right and then obviously it's, you know you, you you put it huh. you put it onto a um, roasting tray right. so it's layered so it becomes like you know a rectangular right. like a thin layer of rectangular right, right. right. And then you can, I, I didn't do it, but, but then I, I was thinking you can essentially cut this into little squares. Right. And okay. then put a little bit of oil of oil, right. right? A little bit of flour on each side. Right, right. Just a little bit. And then you sear it yeah. on the pan. Chicken nuggets. That's the chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah. It's a and it's actually thing. really delicious chicken nuggets. Right. Yeah. yeah. And That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's actually a do pretty some, good idea. Do some sweet potato fries on the side, just... You know, yeah. but, they, but you can even do potato fries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just you don't have to fry them; you can bake them. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was surprised by how good they came out. Um, I also bought some top sirloin from uh, Costco. Amazing. Yeah, the, the one that's extremely lean. Yeah, uh, it comes in like a six or eight pack. Yeah, it's like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost no fat. Yeah. On that thing. Uh, sous vide. Uh, oh really? 
Absolutely. Uh, that's yeah. what I've been going on. It's been my go-to. Okay, okay. Top star line, uh, sous vide for two hours. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Do you sear it? I do because that's yeah, thick yeah, enough that I think yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tiny bit of olive oil. Uh, Tiny bit of oil. Sometimes I'll do butter. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. So you got it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Garlic. Uh. Yeah. Garlic. Um. Eggs. Okay. Uh, I, I like eating a steak with eggs personally. I like the egg yolk. You Running. Dip, yeah, yeah. You gotta dip it a little. Oh. Have a, um. Yeah. That, that's a great meal. I. I don't consider that a cheap. I mean, it's just like no, a, it's yeah, a yeah, healthy, it's, it's healthy, straight up protein. Pr- yeah, it's, it's a it's a great meal. I got a little small uh, piece out last night, and then I weighed it. It was it was a solid, you know, like I think fifty grams of protein. Nice. I yeah. sliced it up, yeah. and then I stir fried it. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So my scale came in. I did not realize how much chicken did not weigh i was under the impression i was eating a lot more chicken uh-huh, than before uh-huh. uh, so yeah i weighed the cooked chicken yeah to my dismay it was like six and a half ounces yeah and it was an entire breast yeah and i almost okay but <laughs> I, yeah yeah it was a lot and it, it was it's pretty it's i was pretty, pretty incredible i was much. actually like tearing up just chewing <laughs> I, I was just sitting there and christine's like Oh my gosh, you look yeah. so of course she's yeah. she went on a run. Of course. Came back. She's like, I'm gonna eat ramen. I'm like, of course. Makes a ramen smell the the sodium. The, it oh just my fills God. up oh it fills the home. The garlic, the oil, yeah, yeah, the sesame and, oil, and the, I was like, the slurping sound. Yeah, yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I just said, uh, You're horrible. You're a horrible person, horrible partner. <laughs> I thought I thought she went to brothers too. At night, yeah, nah, yeah. Oh, this was for lunch. Uh, for lunch. Okay. And then okay. I, I was just so hungry around yeah. after smelling all that, and yeah. you know, it's like one thirty. Like, okay, I'm gonna have some chicken and rice. I didn't even eat, eat rice. I just had broccoli and chicken. You know, six and a half ounces of chicken, and I was just eating it. And she, was just, she just looked at me. He's like, "You poor thing," but you kind of need. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh <laughs> and my god!" I, so now, now I'm sitting here just. Uh, you know, weeping, <laughs> oh, oh a little heartbroken. Man. But. It, it was, honestly, I've been yeah. eating fairly consistent this past couple of days, right. and I was hit, hitting solid 190, 180 grams of protein every single day. Amazing. But yeah. I feel hungry. Oh, you do? I still oh, feel yeah. hungry. I feel, I've already, yeah. I can feel my body craving carbs. Yeah, I think that's I, my... My body, I... The thought of a full bowl of pasta, for example. Right, right. Or the thought of, right. I don't know, like something over rice. Yeah, I think that's it, what's killing me right now. It, it's, it's, yeah. Well, you can't allow yourself a little bit of rice every day. Yeah, yeah. But even though, well, it, not a little it's bit. It's not but satisfying. It's not satisfying. I want a plate of fried rice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just, yeah. It's just, oh, my. It, it just, it just, it just. Because of you are eating at a calorie deficit, so it doesn't matter what you, how you do it. The next morning, this morning I woke up, I felt, God damn, like I feel, you know, hungry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's good and bad, right? You wake up, you feel, okay, mm-hmm. I'm feeling yeah. a little tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it feels great. Yeah. Uh, flip side, it's like, I want to go to Santa and order chicken wings. I want some, <laughs> I, want some I want some black bean noodle. I want some fried rice. I want yeah. some sizzling rice soup. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot... On that note, I think we should do a DEXA scan early April. Okay. okay. Do a cheat meal. Okay. Before or after? DEXA scan. DEXA scan has to be, well, after the cheat meal. Right? Okay. Because because that's when you know, it, it has to go downhill from there. <laughs> right. Right? You, right. Get, you, get the, you get the number, it has right. to go from down, downhill from there. So today is March 18th. 18th, yeah. We should, we should still go hard for two weeks at, we at should, the minimum. We should. We should. Early mid April. Sure. Well, let's let's think about a. I, I also don't think that. A chi meal, if we fast, through. Till four p.m. Right. And then have that as right. a chi meal on a weekend. Right. We would hit our calorie target probably for the day. Easily. <laughs> easily. No, I actually don't think it's easily. I think we will hit it, and it wouldn't be that much surplus. Yeah, uh, I do. Because it's a lot of volume. It's it, a lot of, it's, it's 5,000 calories combined. Yeah. 
That's that's a really hard to hit. I think we eat that at Santa. <laughs> <laughs> we, we eat quite a bit when we go to Santa. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because yesterday I was meal prepping and then I was assembling my meal. It was a, I can't, I don't know exactly how much calorie it was, but it was right. 100 grams of carb, 100, well, 90 grams of protein, um, and then maybe 15 grams of fat. Wow, that's pretty, so it's just pasta, or yeah, what, pasta yeah, and bland pasta. Bland pasta with kimchi with, you know, whatever. No olive oil, like barely, I mean, if you're only barely any olive oil, barely any olive oil. Wow, yeah. that's low. Yeah, but almost no fat, right? Yeah. But it comes out in a huge bowl. Right. It's, it's a lot of food. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of food to hit half of my macros. Right, right, right. For that day. But you're still not full. You're not uh, satisfied. Yeah, I'm not satisfied. Well, yeah. afterwards, after that meal, I feel, okay, I feel, you know, Okay, yeah, sure. It, it was, but, no, yeah. I think, I think once you're eating clean, yeah. and you're eating exactly what your body need. Right. Uh, yeah, your body I, go through it pretty fast. I will say, I, I feel a lot better just mentally yeah. there's a yeah. lot of yeah. things feel more interconnected now yeah. so that's good but so tell me about brothers brothers was fantastic <laughs> as, as always uh how many servings did you guys get we didn't eat as much as i thought i think a lot of them aren't heavy eaters was it a big crowd it was six of us total. oh okay. yeah well we had four servings of carby only we, i think we had five when you me and christine yeah. went <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah. yeah but yeah we had four servings and then we did two steamed eggs we did one seafood pancake and uh-huh. then we did two of the bean paste stew and then and then we ended with one pork belly you and me could have eat that <laughs> i i know that's what i'm saying yeah if we pushed we could eat that yeah but yeah uh, i didn't eat any rice i just enjoyed it. i was grilling too okay, so okay, okay i think even christine could tell she was like you're not eating as much. It feels like you're not, and it. I don't know if it's intentional, but yeah. because you're cooking and yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, with yeah, your yeah, friends, yeah, 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 yeah. so I ended up not eating as much oh, as okay. I typically do, okay. which I think was okay. great, which okay. is why I came in weighing. Yeah, on. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I genuinely enjoy the meal still, which nice. means I don't mind doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our stomach will start getting smaller. Yeah. I hopefully. think. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it will. It will happen. Yeah. I, I, I think in, in, in a couple of weeks, we wouldn't even yeah. be able to eat the same amount of food as we had before. But we would have right. an extremely good appetite for chicken breast. Right, and, right. And, and beef and et cetera, et cetera. Your weight goal, to yeah. be clear, is 175? or what? One, 175 to 170, probably. I think that is when I was starting. Mm. It's all about, I don't even care about weight. Right. I don't care about, I want a six pack. That's you just what want I want to see. Yeah, I just okay. want to, yeah. Um, but I don't think I need to get down to 160 level to yeah, that see seems, it. For your height, that seems very low. Yeah, yeah. Because, because I am, you yeah, know. You're, you're so, so, so I, I originally, for the longest time, I always thought, okay, so when you shred down, obviously you lose muscle. Right. And um, you shred down weight. And then I feel already pretty skinny on my arms and whatever, mm. but obviously the weight doesn't show it. So I... <laughs> I, there's there was always this dilemma mm-hmm. whether I should start losing fat first and even become more skinny than I am now right um, versus actually put on some more muscle before I right. start cutting build the foundation yeah, and now I'm at a point where I think you know what screw it let me just see a six pack first mm. and then start a cycle of bulking cutting bulking cut, whatever right. whatever right. right all that stuff that Infinite influencer online or saying yeah. different cycles and what yeah. I don't have the rights to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> same. <laughs> same. There, there's a lot to work on. I think yeah. for I need both to see the foundation of us. first. But yeah, yeah, I think that's the same for me. Yeah. For me, if I had to put out a number, mm-hmm. I think getting down to like 165 would be a very help for my height. Fuck, man. It's it's a long journey. Yeah. It's such a long journey yeah. from here. But I think in the next, if I had to like segment the next month, if I can get you know, comfortably in the one eighties. Next month. In the that's twenty pounds. That's twenty. That's no, no, sorry, not one eighty, but in the so yeah, like, oh, in the just, just right, get right, it. Okay, okay, okay. So if I can get, if I drop, let's say like ten to fifteen yeah. in the next month. That's a lot, man. It's Be- a lot because yeah. on Fitness Pal, they yeah they max it at two. A week. They max at two pound a week. Yeah. 
and that's you know eight pounds. Yeah, which I, I which I already think that that is quite a heavy calorie caloric deficit already. Right. Um, I think I'm also the type of person who just needs to. I need to like jump start. I'm like a jump yeah. start guy, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'll. That's why I'm like not even eating. And then yeah, I think yeah, I'm gonna yeah. eat pretty clean. Yeah. I'm gonna start incorporating runs as my yeah, okay. idea of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna watch it kind of melt off, and then right. that that will ignite kind of the mm-hmm. entire journey for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. And then for me, it's more of after the fact. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it or at least yeah, build yeah. or do something. But yeah. I don't think I definitely want a six pack. But I I just want to see what. Uh, it all kind of looks. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just More curious. Cause yeah, I, I do yeah. feel like I'm at a pretty strong point. I've been lifting pretty consistent. How's the neck? A lot better. I, love uh, I, yeah, I can, yeah. um, not all the way there, but I think yeah. by tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll be good. Yeah, I woke up today so happy. <laughs> I, I slept well. Woke up. I was like, yes, like this, back yeah. to normal, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, by Friday you wouldn't even remember that. It's it, exactly, and it's, it's just yeah. one of those things that yeah. you don't appreciate. I I, I never I appreciate it until I. Yeah, yeah I, I need to be a little more grateful for yeah. just general health, no injuries like that. But yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to lift today, get okay. back into the gym, do nice. just light stuff. Yeah, light then, stuff. Yeah, not tweak it. Okay. Yeah. Do some cardio today. I'm gonna do some cardio. Yeah. I'm gonna start running um, again. Damn yeah. man. So yeah, hope ideally. Something like eating at like lunchtime and then have like protein shake, protein bar at like yeah. three or four, knock out a run at like five, six. The nice. weather's gorgeous right now too. At, at that it, time, it's it's really good. It's so nice weather for run. Yeah. yeah, and then run. I think back. today's a little chillier, but right, this right. is not even better. I like weather. the light. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just because it's light out, and then yeah, come back and then uh, cook, eat some yeah. chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Call it a night. Yeah, we sure have a freaking goal. That's what we yeah, have. Yeah, I got to keep going towards it. Yeah, what I'm currently looking at, the dear audience member, it's our uh, mm-hmm. uh, the stick paper with our weight on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's you know three lines on top of it, meaning that we have been doing this for three days. But yeah, it will be it will, there will be a multiple piece of paper. Yeah, eventually yeah. there'll it'll, it'll be a, it'll be a cool shot whiteboard. There. Should we get a whiteboard where you want to just do papers? Th- paper will be cool too. Yeah, actually. because now yeah, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. like tape the whole yeah, wall the cycle, with like numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that it'll be a cool like yeah. shot. If we do the same shot, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, here's yeah. where we started. Right. Here's where we are. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It'll okay. be cool. I can see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty pumped. I think the sweater should be shipped in soon. Okay. Uh, so. Do we have to send them the shipping slip? I assume. They need to pack it. I think they oh, handle right. the shipping themselves. Oh, they do? Yeah. And they have the address oh. already. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if we need... Obviously, now we pay them full, so they're not in a rush. Right. right. So, I don't know if right. we should chase them. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I think as long as we ship out by, like, mid maybe we'll... Oh, yeah, we're not, in a, we're not in a rush yeah. to ship, ship the product out to people. I mean, right. when we ship it to people, it will already be summer, so they wouldn't wear it anyways. They would just have time to appreciate how nice it's mm, funny. Right. Is. Yeah. And um, what do you want to do with the leftover yarn? I want to... There's a couple of pieces I'd like to make depending okay. on price. Okay. Uh, I know ours cost quite a bit to make, but I imagine if yeah. if they have a pre-programmed jersey knit or like yeah. very just simple plain, yeah. Yeah. I would love to make a couple for yeah. myself yeah. and yeah, Christine yeah. as well. If, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of gold. A lot of gold left. A lot of gold left, yes. Which isn't a bad color, I don't think. I don't know if I would wear it, but maybe for... Christine, it would look okay. I don't know. I think a pure gold, yeah. A pure gold one. Yeah. I don't know. I think it needs to be. Yeah, I I don't think I think it needs to be a outer layer. Mm. Okay. Made as like a jacket or yeah, something okay. like that. Like a cashmere jacket. Because think about wearing that against your skin and right. then only having that on top what right. possibly can you use to match that right at the bottom, right? right right so yeah i think you're right it's more of like a white with like a light cardigan or like something yeah, exactly, like that. Yeah. exactly exactly okay. so 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 having that serve on top is just you know yeah. one of those things that if you want to be a little right you, you know if a certain morning you feel creative you know, right you put that on pop that on and just you know on a it's, Saturday it's a nice or whatever. spring i think yeah. it's a nice spring outfit like it, jeans it, white White interior, white and then yellow, and then, yeah, yellow yeah. carnigan. Yeah, no, I think that'll look nice. Go to yellow carnigan. I think that would look pretty nice, but then, 
I, I don't think anything against the skin. Like, yeah, I think you're right. It, yeah. So, what other colors was there a lot? That light blue we never used. Yeah, right? the baby blue. Uh, that that also, would look good in it. I think just a, anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That baby blue would look good in anything. Yeah. The really artificial looking green. Oh, the early state. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That green. I, I, I don't think it will look bad. I. I yeah. It's, it's, it's just not a color that I... Do you want to make shirts? How? You don't think they have pre-programmed for just, like, knit pol like cashmere knit polo? Like, 100%? Well, yeah, yeah, we could. We could. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to making a t-shirt. Like a, well, not t-shirts, but, like, yeah, knit like polo. shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like polo. some kind of, like, polo. Yeah, we can ask them. Pre-programmed stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I imagine they have a bunch. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we did yeah. all these. It's yeah, like, yeah. oh, let's just pick. So it's know. only... And just do our same measurements, but yeah, we just. Would that be? I don't. Yeah, that's the only problem is like doing cost like grading side. and yeah, all, yeah, 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 yeah. But let's it, get us some color on that. I, I actually yeah. don't know what what they. Um. I, yeah. What they. Can I imagine do. the labor on that is like a third of like our our sweater was very unique, labor intensive. Yeah, I think, yeah. But if it's just a jersey knit yeah. polo, yeah. I imagine it costs fifty. You know, like they're just gonna yeah, run yeah, yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the grading probably costs more. Yeah. But I'm willing to pay. Cause like yeah, if we if sure, we bought a sure, you know sure. if we bought a cashmere polo it costs hundred fifty sure. bucks for sure, but if it costs fifty plus the cashmere it's like 50. it'll be like oh cashmere polo are you kidding me one hundred yeah. no let's yeah, say at least four hundred yeah, bucks yeah, yeah yeah or even From, more yeah so if yeah. we could buy that for like sub one fifty I would have I mean mm -hmm. I just want to selfishly want a award yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> but it'll, it'll look yeah, nice yeah. on yeah. camera too and, yeah okay yeah. okay okay yeah, yeah. we can ask about cost we have um, do we have any ivory and in any of those ivory. Not a lot left. Okay, Every so it's more the unique. Left. Yeah, color. the unique colors. Um, I think we might be able to make two from ivory, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm f I made a video. Yeah, yeah, the video. I saw yeah, it. yeah, there's yeah, yeah. There, so the big row. Yeah. Um, are the ones that. Right. It's like we have a lot of, um, and each row can make maybe three to four sweaters. Right. Each right. big row, and yeah. then. There were some, you know, tiny ones, you know, at the bottom. Right. And, um, maybe they can make one or two, but hmm. I don't know how exa how much exactly we can make. Okay. Um, yeah, we we should get a just inventory, just ask yeah. them the exact numbers, and then ask yeah. them for a catalog if they have, and say like, hey, can we yeah. pick your brain on this? And then, yeah. Um, how are the boxes and comb and all that? They all got so the the comb was shipped. I think a week and a half or two two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Boxes shipped late last week oh, so wow. they, they sent us the they sent me the pack whatever yeah, the yeah, shipping yeah. slip uh from here i think we'll just wait they're what, they're express yeah. freight yeah. so they what, what does it look like uh boxes good yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's the all the collection on the front and then in inside it's just that the image we had and yeah. that's it yeah. is it the oh you remember how, how thin how thin the it, no yeah was. so yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. hard Hard to gauge. Uh, hard to gauge from image, but given all the vetting I did, yeah, I have yeah, good yeah. hopes. Okay. It, it's, it's absolutely will be better than the other sample okay, we okay, had. Okay, okay, Um It's so, for sure confirmed is it's magnetic. Okay. It's light gloss, so it's not like too... Too yeah, glossy. Yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah, look yeah. too like, you know, okay, fake, okay, I guess. And okay. uh, it's magnetic and it's fairly durable slash mm -hmm. thick, so... That was kind of my three minute yeah, <laughs> requirements. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, as long as that's covered, I think it's gonna yeah. look pretty good. And then we can buy, you know, ribbon or whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. and then the wrapping paper. Oh yeah, we have that. Oh yeah. Yeah, we bought it already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I think I think we're yeah. okay. I'm, yeah. I just hope it comes as. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and, uh, and, that's and, that's and my only yeah, yeah that's my only concern. But okay. yeah, you know, we uh, launched a five figure cashmere sweater business in months and it was a very good experience but it was a lot of fun man i, I still yeah. look back in my photo album yeah i mean the time I, in china do you how, how do you how do, uh, i'm curious how do you look mm -hmm. back on that week in china was it surreal once you got there yeah it's hard it's almost as if the trip didn't happen and now i but i think back and it wasn't that far yeah ago. yeah exactly. it was in november or so, uh, no august oh no no, no so september slash october okay okay yeah. Less than six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's wild to me. That less than six months ago, we were yeah. in the middle of China mm -hmm. vetting cashmere yeah, yeah. and sweaters. Um, it was such a good experience. I yeah. loved it. 
And I, I personally, like, I don't, I don't think either of us have closed the door on that either. No. Maybe. I think it's something we will continue to build over time. Yeah. Like, now that our stores came in and we have some, yeah. you know, like, inventory that we reserved for exactly. other influencers, et cetera, as yeah. we kind of hand them out, people, it's a slow building process, but yeah. as the reputation kind of goes out yeah. there, I think we're, we're taking it a lot more slowly and diligently. I agree. I, I think, yeah. I think this is just one, if anything, after talking mm -hmm. to some people uh, who obviously know me but have never heard about the journey or right. didn't know that I was doing that or yeah just men after a certain age right they really appreciate the quality of the material and what they 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 were really curious about right you know be, because yeah. you start to care about closing and what you put right. on your body and you know the value for the goods they're getting and you can't yeah. always be wearing Zara every day you need something that's a little bit nicer <laughs> sure. but you don't want essentially going through the same thing that we right. were going through right. uh, when we were picking out clothes hence you know the reason for starting this whole thing right and they find it extremely interesting yeah and that entire market mm -hmm. and that entire audience i think still stands i absolutely one percent believe that yeah yeah and the fact that we went through the process and i already know like mm -hmm. now if someone come to me and ask hey like what cashmere sweater should i buy or mm -hmm. um you know etc cetera, etc cetera, we, we can we can make something yeah. know, pretty fast because we know all the players already. We know the right. the supply chain in and out, and we know who are the best supplier in each state of the process, and you know the process of shipping and packaging, and you know mark. It's going to be there. Yeah, exactly. It's, going it's always going to be there, yeah. and I uh, I know a lot of the people that we associate mm -hmm. with also mm -hmm. I think trust our yeah. judgment yeah, on yeah, yeah. a lot of, that's why you know you yeah. know like you were catching up with someone before and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know earlier and they yeah. were immediately yeah. I want one <laughs> and, you know, yeah, so exactly. I think it's, it's easier to sell because we come from a very diligent background and yeah. I believe they're like, yeah these are like carefully curated mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> almost mm -hmm. boutique style but we mm -hmm. trust that you know you've edited it pretty well so yeah, yeah I'm excited man uh, once they come we'll do a whole packaging packaging and, uh, yeah. show and tell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah showcase it it'll be cool yeah What's uh, on the agenda today? Just um, I just think. Oh, what should we? What should we? What should we talk about? I think. Um, yeah. Tune a little bit more on the content side, right? Right. right. And um, spend a little more time on the website. Yep. And um, yeah, I think those those will be yeah, yeah. yeah those will be the main goal. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. That's a wrap. Good. Good talk. <laughs> yes, guys. Bye.